So the Oshun State Government recently announced the abolition of the same school uniform policy for students in the public schools. They also announced the reversal of the 4534 policy in public school back to the 6334 format. Now, what effect would this have on the educational system? What happened? What, what caused this change? And why is there a need to reverse this policy? During the last governorship election, and during the campaign particularly, a debate was organized for all the candidates. And in that debate, the then candidate of the APC, now governor of the state of Osho, was put to task on the issue of common uniform. And when he was answering the question, he concluded by saying, if it is the wish of the people, he will be willing to review you know, some of the policies you know, that you know, were causing agitations here and there then. And so immediately we won the election, the governor went around in a thank you tour, and top on the list of requests were all these policies that we just reviewed, mm -hmm. from uniform to major or primary five and six with high school, secondary schools, and, mm -hmm. and the others. Okay. And these policies that we're talking about were designed to give the best education to our yeah. you know, learners, okay. with, you know, done with good intentions. Mm -hmm. For instance, the 6334, mm -hmm. the executive then felt that it would be too you know, bad to be feeding primary one to four and not feed primary five and six. That it will constitute a kind of emotional trauma for kids in primary four and I mean five and six to be watching primary one to four, you know, within their daily uh, school feeding, mm. you, know, you know, ration. And, you know, they are not eating. So in order not to expose them to trauma and emotional, you know, distress, they felt that it would be better to move them to the middle school. I was not in the air school then. Mm -hmm. That was the reason. Mm -hmm. But the federal government extended school feeding to all the states yes, of the federation. And no state has, because of that, moved their own primary three, four, I mean, four, five, and six. There's that perception that there's an issue of dissonance amongst within the party because of this policy <coughs> reversal. Could you just talk about this? Is there, is, there, is there an issue between you and the former governor? If we reduce the narrative to uh, Oyeltola reverses Arek uh, last policies, mm -hmm. we're missing the point. Exactly. It, 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 these policies that we're talking about are our policies. Okay. Under the doctrine of collective responsibilities, Fantastic. all of us have together with Arek yeah. They are not Arek Bechola's policies, okay. our Fantastic. policies. Fantastic. I was chairman of the House Committee on Education. <laughs> I defended the governor everywhere for eight years. Mm -hmm. And I'll still defend him till tomorrow because I learned a lot you know, under him. Yeah. And uh, believe me, he achieved, you know, unprecedented success when, when, when he was So one when of the... the <laughs> governor of Osho. So back to the you know. policy, sir. Yeah. One of them which you are reversing right now is a return to the previous names of the schools that was changed by the government, okay. which is a good one since you're going to be going back to the uniforms. But did you take cognizance of the students who have written exams, who have results from this new name, probably, that you have given, then how does that correct the results they have when you now change the names back to what it was before? Thank you very much. Um, much different were never made. Okay. Because even registration with Waik and Neko, they were using the names we are reversing to. Oh, oh okay. okay. They didn't change that yes. in the okay. seven years. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. What did you do this time around that, will, that has made it acceptable to the people, to the stakeholders, to the states? And what are we going to do to make sure that this is not something that will be changed every four years oh, or every yeah, eight, eight years? years. Right. Now, uh, thank you for that question. No administration will come in and change a system that is working. Hmm. You know, we decided to do a rethink and, you know, take a second look because, you know, the policies were not delivering. You know, like I told you, uh, we, they, we introduced the policies with very good intentions, but we did not bargain. We did not take into consideration the unintended consequences. You know, so we, we have looked at it, you know, the second time we have handed it over to a body of experts to tell us what to do. And they have said we should, you know, this is the way to go. And if we implement very well, if we engage all the stakeholders adequately, you know, we, we you know, take into cognizance and into consideration okay. their views, I believe we will have a workable system that no administration will think of it.